Welcome back. Take a stroll through Ogden and admire the work of local artists. Regina Esparza and Lori Buckley from Ogden City Arts are here to tell us more about what's going on. This is kind of exciting, I think, because it's the first Friday of the month. Right, which yes. is today. It's tonight. It's tonight. Um, something going on that kind of highlights the art district of Ogden. Yep, so the art stroll runs year round. It's the, always the first Friday of the month, and so tonight is March's first Friday art stroll. It's a program that we run to help provide access, accessible arts programming for the community, but as well as um, support the creatives and the artists that live in Ogden and around Ogden. So it's kind of a win-win for both. You know, that we get it's free. All of the programming during Art Stroll is free. It's family friendly. It's a super fun date night. We have multiple locations. There's 24 locations and several of them have a lot of artists in them. The Monarch has over 40 artists. The Local oh. Artisan Collective has over 25 different artists and Dirt Road Couture has over 25 artists. So there's a lot to see when you stroll around. You can buy artwork, have dinner. It's a really fun evening. Just by the look of what you brought, you really do. There's so much to offer, so many different kinds of art. But set the scene because Ogden is a really cool place, especially for art. Yes, so right now we have new um, public art, that's especially at the corner, which is a small white kiosk on 25th and Washington. That's kind of the hub of everything where we have um, a new sculpture that's there, the new range. But we also can get art stroll maps. So you can either go from there up to 25th Street, all the way to Union Station, or you could go across the street and go to the Monarch, and there's live music, there's 40 plus artists there. But then there's some people that get on the bus and want to get on the bus and head up to Weber State and then Weber State has a new exhibit there also in their area. So it's a, like Lori said, it's a fun time for everyone, family oriented, so everyone's welcome to come out and You mentioned fun. too there's, there's entertainment, there's music, there's food. Yes, yeah. food, <laughs> drinks, food, everything, all the above. <laughs> Live music, um, there's a, um, inside the Monarch, there's a, um, a group called Van Sessions and they actually pull an old, I think it's in the 70s, 70s, like camper van in there, and they do a podcast out of there, and they bring live musicians in, so you can watch that oh, podcast wow. happening, and the musicians play. Um, so there's, and in the summertime, on the warmer months, there's buskers out on the road, or different, like the Corner Plaza will sometimes have music, down at the Union Station, the Dumkey Arts Plaza is often programmed with poets, or bands, live music, it is really, you know, really quite enjoyable. Yeah. This is so much bigger than I realized, I loved taking a look at this map because it does span quite a big area throughout Ogden and so lots to see. Talk about some of the art that's featured here today. I loved this plant right here yeah. and the little sign that it has in the front the of it. Sign. So this is a new art stroll stop. It's a jungle plant room and they're going to be featuring artwork by Melina Robinson. So she has a ton of resin pieces. So tonight she will be out there um, with more art pieces but they gave us a plant here to kind of bring and showcase. This is also a new location that will be expanding next door to three times its size that it's gotten so busy and large there so they're excited for that and we're excited to welcome their show too. Um, what about serendipity? Serendipity. So this out. is a local um, pottery artist named Ed Denny and so his work will be featured at serendipity. Serendipity is on historic 25th Street is the location for that stroll and so you can go in and meet the artist and um, check out some of his work and possibly purchase some of these his beautiful um, pieces that he's made. I uh, have my eye on this one yes. over here because it's one of my favorite places. This is Lake Powell. Yes, and this is featuring um, artist Austin Luckett, who's at a new art stroll stop also on Washington Boulevard, and um, it's called Fiction. So they have numerous different artists inside there also that have different shops, and we're excited to have them part of the stroll this time. All right, lastly, we have to talk about these beautiful glass pieces. So we talked about riding the bus for the yes. stroll. So um, UTA brought in a map, bus r rapid transit line just this last summer and these are the pieces um, at each stop there's 13 locations on this it's free to ride and there is artwork and it. these are sample pieces from what you'll see um, large size at each station so you can ride the station you, even from Salt Lake you can come up from Salt Lake jump on the, the front runner there's a there's a station at the front where you'll jump on that bus you can ride through the junction hop off there's artwork there there's a little local artisan collective hop up on the Washington station where the corner lives and get your art stroll map and kind of go to the Monarch and all those ones that are quite downtown. 
hop back on, you know, you'll visit these art pieces at each stop, and then you get up to Weber State and you can see their installation at their gallery. They have two galleries up there with art strolls, so, and then just ride back down. It's super fun, free. Ladies, this is so <laughs> exciting. I was just gonna say, if you've ever been to Europe, they have a hop on, hop off. That's oh, kind of what yes, this is for yes, Ogden. Yes, I love it, yep. I love it. So if you guys are ever in Ogden, feel free to come out and we're happy to give you guys a tour too. You also. can visit <laughs> their website as well as their Instagram and head on out. It's happening every single month. First Friday, March is, happens today. This is so exciting. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us.